Hello, Mr. Randy here. This is uh, part two, our continuation of the geometric construction problems, and we're going to focus here on two problems. First one is to construct a parabola. Parabola is a nice curve, if you will, that will flow around point A there. Be very careful. A common mistake is to take that curve all the way to BC. The curve would be like tangent to BC. That's r incorrect. Don't do it that way. So follow the steps here. Uh, we're going to start with a line. And we're going to go from A straight over horizontal to line BC. Now I'm going to draw a circle. I'm just going to type a C through the midpoint. And you can see I don't have a midpoint, so I'm going to have to come up here and select midpoint. And there's a circle that should be exactly halfway for radius, halfway between A and line BC. Line BC is now, almost now, kind of useless. We're going to use it for one more purpose. I'm going to offset through that point. So let's do an offset through. We'll pick the line and we'll pick that intersection. Okay. Now everything we do now will be to the right of this line, not connected to BC at all. Alright, our instructions say use an offset distance of 0.1 and offset 10 times. So we're going to make 10 new circles and 10 new lines with a spacing of 0.1. So let's go to the offset tool and 0.1 and hit enter. And I'm going to click on the circle. Notice if I mouse out, I haven't clicked, if I mouse in, the new green circle goes in. If I mouse out, the green circle goes out. Make sure it's going out and then click. I like to over exaggerate, go way out and click. Click on the circle, go way out and click. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you've done it right, you now have 11 circles technically you got to count the first one. Then one line, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now we have all our construction geometry and we're ready to draw the parabola. I'm going to zoom up on this area right here. Let's pan it down just a little bit. The uh, textbook instructions say to use the P-line command, but we're going to use a different tool. It will give us a nicer looking curve. So I want you to take your mouse up to this draw dot drop down here and select the very first or left icon there, spline fit. All right, I'm going to start right here at the outer circle and the rightmost line. And I'm going to select that intersection. Now I'm going to go in and over one to the left. And in and over to the left. And we're going to work our way. And you need to be very careful. Make sure you're getting that intersection snap. That green cross is showing up as you work your way in one and over to the left one. I'm going to pan the drawing up now because it's a little weird here. I'm going to go left and down, and the next intersection is actually right on the, on the line we created there. Now I'm going to go out and to the right. Got to go back the other way. I'm being very deliberate here and making sure I'm getting intersections. Now the test is coming up, and if you've done it right, if you haven't missed any intersections, you should come right back to the last line and the last circle. Now hit enter to finish that spline curve. I'm zoom out just a little bit. Now I'm going to click on that spline curve, and I'm going to put it on the object layer. And I'll hit escape, and that's the solution for the parabola. Leave all the green geometry here because if something went wrong, 
uh, Mr. Man or I need to be able to see where you got off. So leave all that green geometry there. So now we're ready to construct an Archimedes spiral around this center point. And we're going to use an offset distance of 0.1 for this little circle that's here. So let's offset 0.1. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should now have eleven circles. Now I need a line, and I'm going to do a horizontal line from the center point uh, straight out, or just a little beyond that circle there. We need to pattern this line. We need a line every 30 degrees around the circle. So I'm going to do an array, and we're going to pick a polar array here. I'm going to pick the line because it's asking me down here at the command prompt to select objects. And now it's asking me, oh, hit enter. It's asking me for a center point. I will choose that point right there. Notice it's already put some lines up there, but that's not enough, so let's fix it. We're going to go up here, and number of items, I'm going to tell it that I want 12 at 30 degrees at 360. Take a look at your preview. Make sure we should have a line every 30 degrees for the full circle. And then just hit Close Array, and they will stay in. One interesting thing about an array, because we had associativity on there, is it's all one object. If I click on it, I can delete the whole thing. All right, we're ready to start our spiral now. And again, I'm going to zoom up pretty tight here on the middle of the, of the spiral here. And the spiral is going to start here, and it's going to kind of peel out. Okay, it's going to peel out and get bigger each time. So we're going to do a, a fit spline again. And we're going to go one, and I'm going to go out and up, two, three, four, five. And we're going to keep going out and around. Be really, real careful. Um, you get some really funny snap lines in some of these, so make sure you're getting the intersection. Be very deliberate with your mouse clicks. And we will end right there. We've run out of circles, and I'll hit Enter. All right, so let me click that. We'll put it on the object layer. And there is our Archimedes spiral. And that wraps it up for the geometric construction. We're not going to mess with these. They're both pretty simple. And again, we'll show these in lecture. Um, so there you have some of the problems from the worksheet uh, in YouTube for you. As always, enjoy.